Okay, so after choosing the eminent event in the previous step, we get clocks, clock at time instance t is 10. Now, this is it's going to remain the same as the previous one except for the eminent event chosen. And the eminent event chosen is that the truck t2 finishes loading. So, this is, this is the one that's going to come here. This is going to remain the same. This is going to remain the same. And one of this is going to come and pop here because one of the loaders is empty because T2 has finished its task. So let's draw the diagram again. So we have T1 over here. And uh, T3 is already there from the previous thing. T2 comes, right? So T2 is the one that's chosen. So T2 comes. And then over here, loader, since T4 was already there, I'm going to write T4 and from the loader queue, one of it is going to pop and that is going to be T5 because it is like a queue system. So T6 is going to be here. Now you can fill the rest of the columns. I'm not going to fill it in each step. So this is going to be 1, 2, 2, 1 and so on. So you know that. So now let's look at our future event list and uh, see what we have. So this is again going to remain the same. So this is going to be end wing. 12t1. This is negligible, so this is not taken into account. What is going to be taken into account is this. So again, t4 is going to remain the same, end of loading of truck t4 and the time that we calculated in the last step, 10. But this is something new again. So this is going to be, since it's in the loader, it's going to be end loader, which is the truck t5. And how do we calculate the time? So over here the clock instance is 10, so that's going to be 10 plus, we're going to see the distribution table for the loading time. Now we see that 10 was already used, 5 was already used and 5 was also used and 12 was used in this case. So what is the next thing that we're going to use? 10. That's going to give me 10 plus 10 that is equal to 20. So now we have three future event list, this one, this one and this one. Now, the next thing that we need to calculate is BL and BS. So, how much time has passed since the last event? It has been, the last event was at 5, right? And then this current is 10. So, the past time, let's call it past time. I'm going to refer to this as PT from now on. So, it's going to be 10 minus 5, so that is 5. And in this five minutes of time that has elapsed, both the loaders were busy. Both the loaders were busy and one or in one of the scale. I mean, that is only one scale. So the scale was busy. So it's just going to be five. But remember, since it's cumulative, so it's this is going to be five and this is going to be ten. Why? Because there were two loaders and the time elapsed was five. So there were five into two, ten. But since it's cumulative, you need to add 5 and 10 to the previous value that was there. So this is going to be, so it's 10 plus 5. So I'm going to add another 10 here and another 5. So that, oops, sorry. So that's going to give me, so that's 10 plus another, another what? 10 and uh, this is going to be 5 plus 5. So this is going to be 20 and this is going to be 10. Now, all set with this, we need to choose the next eminent event. So the next eminent, eminent event is going to be this. Now, you might wonder, oh, it's 10 and this is already 10. It doesn't matter because these will be considered as two simultaneous events. So then the next event or the next um, column as such or the next set of this, we're going to write 10 again as our clock time t. It doesn't matter. It's not a mistake. It's just that... These two events are happening simultaneously. We're just going to write it as two different sets. So when you do that, in the next, next set, we're going to write clock t. And what is going to change? Since we're choosing this event, that means t4 is going to finish loading. So this is going to come here in the weighing queue. This remains the same. And since one of the loaders is empty, this is going to take its place. So let's write it. So, oops. Okay. So T1 stays here. Nothing happens with that. In the weighing queue, it's T3, uh, T2, uh, T4, 
and uh, T5 was already there, but the new entry that has happened is T6 coming from here to here. So let's write that down. So we have T6. Now let's let's write our future event list. Again, this is going to remain the same. So I'm just going to write end wing or uh, 10. I'm sorry, 12 T1. This is negligible, not considered as not an event. Then T5. T5 was already calculated. Uh, was it calculated? Yes. So it was calculated. End loading 20 T5. The new uh, new thing that is over here is T6. So again, this is going to be end loading T6. And since it's clock 10, 10 plus the next in the distribution table is 10 is gone, 5 is gone, 5 is gone, 10 is also gone, 15 is the one that we're going to look at. So it's going to be 10 plus 15, that is 25. So we have these three events with us, future event list. Now let's calculate the BS and BL. So how much was the past time? So you can say the past time since it, it's just the simultaneous because this is 10, that is 10, so there's 0. So we can write it as same as the previous step. So this is going to be 20 and this is going to be 10 because it happened simultaneously and we've already calculated it for the previous step. So you can see it's the same thing, we're just going to write it 20 and 10. Now amongst these future event list, which is the eminent event that we're going to select between 25, 20 and 12, this is the eminent event. So we're going to consider this in our next clock cycle. So in the next set, our clock cycle is going to be at 12, right? So in the in the clock cycle, so let's write that as 12. So the eminent event chosen is 12. So what is going to happen? So we say that end of weighing. So this is going to finish weighing and what's going to happen? It's going to move out from here to here. And then one of this weighing queue, so since it's FIFO, that's first and first set, this is going to take this place. And this is going to remain the same because none of this is going to change. The only thing that is going to happen is this is going to come here, move out of the scale. And this is going to take its place. So this is going to remain the same. And these two are going to stay here. So let's write that down at least. So at time instance 12, at the scale from here, Okay, so let's write uh, let's write T1 first. So from T1 it comes here. So I'm going to write T1 since so it's going to travel here. T1 is going to be here from and in the scale T3 from here is going to come here. So T3 in the weighing queue I have T2 and uh, T4. Loaders are not going to uh, change, so it's going to be T5 and T6. Now, now it's interesting. Now let's write the future event list. So the new things are so this the new things are this and this but let's write down the things that we know so t5 is going to be end loading 25 oh no this was for t6 so this is going to be 20 and t5 this is calculated from the previous step and uh, t6 is going to be end loading at 25 and t6 so this is got from the previous step over here this one now the new thing that is going to be is scale so this is going to be end weighing dump top 3 and this is going to be calculated at 12 plus 12 is the clock cycle and the weighing time so the new weighing time so this is so from the previous things we know that this this and this is gone and this is also gone and after this comes 12 so it's going to be 12 plus this 12 over here and that's going to give me 24. So let's write that down. Now over here, since it's come out of the scale, what is it going to do? It's going to travel this time and arrive at the loader queue. So the future event list for this truck is going to be arrive at the loader queue, dump truck T1. And how do we calculate this? This is going to be the same, 12 plus, looking at the distribution, it's the first ever thing that we arrived at travel time. So we're going to cut out 60 and we're going to get 12 plus 16. That's going to be 72. So we have arrived at the future event list. Now let's calculate the loader busy time and BS. 
So pass time is going to be 10 minus 12, 2. So 2 and in these 2 a time pass, 2 minutes pass you can say. Both the loaders were busy over here and the scale was busy. So that's going to give me over here 2 into 2 that is 4 and this is just going to be 2. And since it's cumulative it's going to be 20 plus 4, 20 from the previous step, 24 and uh, 10 plus 2, 12. We're getting this. Now we have calculated BL and BS. Now we need to find the eminent event out in this set. So the eminent event over here is going to be this 20. Now we are going to take 20 as the next clock cycle or the next clock in the next set that we are going to see. So let's take that. So when we have clock T over here. Now what is going to happen? So this is going to end loading at this instance 20. So when this is finished loading it's going to join the weighing queue. Now uh, this is not going to change. This is not going to change. But at this this particular truck A is going to arrive at the loader queue at time instance 72. And where are we still at? We are still at 20. So what's going to happen? One of the loader is going to be empty. Since none of the, none, there's nothing in the loader queue, no, nothing is going to take its place. And it's it's there's still a long time for this truck to arrive at the loader queue. So how is the scenario going to look like? This is going to remain the same. This is going to remain the same. There's going to be one thing added and one is going to be busy. So let's write that down. So at 20 clock in, instance, I'm going to have T3, right? And uh, T2 that was already there. T4 and the new addition T5 and T6 and one of the loader is going to be busy. Now and obviously T1 over here that is traveling. So let's write down the future event list. So we know this from the previous step ALQ 72 T1. Similarly T3 is going to be EW end weighing 24 or dump truck, dump truck T3. This is not going to be counted. Then loader we know end of loading 25 and t6 now these are again the three uh, future event lists that we have now let's calculate bn and bs so the past time is 12 minus 28 last was 12 over here so 12 minus 28 and in this eight things eight minutes that have passed both the loaders are busy so when you're calculating bn and bs you refer to the previous set because you are referring to the past right 8 seconds or 8 minutes have already passed in that 8 minutes that have passed how many were busy and how many or how many were busy in the loader and how many were busy in the scale since both the loaders were busy and the scale was busy it's going to be this is going to be 8 into 2 and this is just going to be 8 and since it's cumulative I'm going to add them up this is going to be 24 plus 16 and that's going to give me 40 and this one is going to be 12 plus 8 and that's going to give me 12 sorry that's going to give me 20 so now from this we're going to choose the future if i mean sorry we're going to choose the eminent event and the eminent event is going to be this one 24 so in the next clock cycle we're going to take 24 as our clock so over here our clock is going to be 24 now so with 24, what are the changes that are going to occur? So let's write down 24 first. So we have 24 and the event that's going to occur is that this particular thing truck is going to finish scaling. So it's going to move out and it's going to join this T1 where it's going to arrive at load of Q. And then this is going to take this place and then this is going to remain the same and these two things are also going to remain the same. So the only thing that's going to happen is this is going to move out and T2 is going to take place of T3. So let's write that down. So we have T2, uh, T4, T5, T1 is somewhere here and T3 is over here and T6 is here. Now what are, what are the things that we know? So T1, we know this, A, L, Q. 72 t1 t3 something new let's come to it later and uh, t6 is again loading 25 
truck 6. This has nothing. Now this is new. So this is going to be end of weighing for truck T2 calculated as 24 clock plus the distribution of the weighing time. So now since 12 is gone and 12 is also gone, right? So let's look at the table. Uh, yes, only one 12 is gone. So it's going to be the second 12. So we're going to say 12, uh, 24 plus 12. That's going to be 36. Over here, only one thing is gone. So this is going to be, what's going to be? It's going to be arrive at the loader queue for truck T3. And this time is 24 plus 100. Because 60 was already used for the previous thing. So this is going to be 240. Now, how do we calculate BL and BS? So, the time elapsed was 24 minus 20. So, past time was 4. And if you see the previous thing, only one loader was busy, but scale, everything was busy. So, it's going to change. Over here, this is not going to be double. Whereas, this is just going to be 4 into 1. And this is also going to be just 4. But since it's cumulative, I have to add. So, it's going to be 40 plus 4. That is 44. And this is going to be 20 plus 4. That is 24. Okay. So, now from these future event lists, that is this, this, this and this, which is the eminent event? The eminent event is, this is 240, right? The eminent event is going to be this particular thing. So, now in the next cycle, in the next set, our clock is going to be 25. So now when 25 occurs, what are the changes that we are going to see? So at 25, that means it's going to end loading. So if this ends loading, this is just going to join this. This will remain same and so will this. And obviously T1 and T3. So let's draw that. So at clock instance 25, 25 scale remains the same. T2, T3 somewhere here. T1 is here. None, no, no, nothing is there in the loader. Because it's left it, T4, T5, and T6. So let's write down the future event list. So what do we know? This we know. End of being 36, T2. And nothing here. And obviously we again know T1. So that, I'll just write it down. Is that 124 or is it going to be? Okay, I made a very <laughs> grave mistake. So 24 plus 100, it's not going to give me 240. It's going to be 124. So sorry for that. So yeah, so I have, uh, so th this is my future event list. And now how do we calculate BL and BS? So past time is just one. And in that one, one of the loader was busy and just one of the scale was busy. So I'm just going to write, so this is just going to add one. So this is going to be 44 plus 1, 45. And this is going to be 24 plus 1, 25. Now how do I choose the eminent event? So the eminent, is, eminent event is going to be this because it has the minimum. So now you can stop this video right now and move to the final step because in the questions that you're going to get, they'll probably tell you to end at some clock instance. So they can mention in the question that stop at clock instance 24 or 25 or something like that. And maximum they can give you is 5 or 6 iterations. So I'm going to solve all the 13. If you think you've understood, if you think this is enough for now, you can skip right to the end of it and see how do we calculate the utilization scale that will just take two minutes so if you're interested if you want to see how this ends you can continue and see how it goes so now over here the eminent event is going to be 36 and in the next cycle let's look at how 36 will look like okay so clock is going to be 36 and uh, what is going to change? So at 36, this is going to end wing and this is also going to move up and T4 is going to take place of T2. So let's write that down. So we have T1 somewhere over here. We have T3 also and new guy has joined that is T2. And who, which is taken its place? T4. 
and the weighing Q remains with only two trucks that is T5 and T6. So the future event list is going to look the same. So this is going to remain the same. So this is going to be ALQ 72T1. ALQ 43. Similarly, this A. Okay, so this is going to be new. So what is it going to be? So this is entered. So this is going to be arrival at loading queue for truck T2. And we're going to calculate this is 36 plus. So this is already over. This is already over and this is going to give me 40. So it's going to be 36 plus 40, 76. This is also something new. So this is going to look like end of weighing for truck T4 and truck 14, truck T4. And it's going to be 36 plus now for weighing 12 is over, 12 is also over and uh, Okay, I think Okay, so the thing that we're going to choose over here is going to be uh, so this is new again. So this is going to be T4 and it's going to end way for truck T4 at time instance 36 plus. So let's look at the distribution. 12 is gone, 12 is gone and in the previous thing we had used 12 and I think uh, I made a mistake again. So basically this 12 was for the third one. Okay, so we sure this was the third one. So the next to come is 16. So uh, sorry for that. And you can see it gets very, very tricky to have these things, especially when you do it online. So have always a hard copy where you're solving this, right? So I'm gonna go here. So this is gonna be 12 and 12, and now I have 16. So I'm gonna get this as 52. Okay, and so I have these future event lists. Now let's calculate BL and BS. So the time elapsed is 11, past time is 11, and since in these 11 minutes, the loader was completely free, only the scale was um, busy. So BL is going to remain the same, so that's just going to be 45. BS, whereas is going to be 25, that was there in the previous case, 25. Plus, since the time elapsed was 11, so I'm just going to add 11 to it. So that's 25 plus 11, 36. Okay, cool. So now... Amongst these future event lists, that is 72, 124, 76, and 52, we're going to choose the eminent event. So the eminent event is going to be this. So let's write down, write, let's write that down in the next clock cycle. So that's going to give me 52. And uh, what are the events that are going to happen for that? So the events that are going to happen is, since this is going to end way, this is also going to go in the travel time and this is going to take this place so let's see how the flow chart looks like now so t5 comes here only t6 is in the weighing queue so now we have t1 that is there in the traveling t2 t3 and the latest addition t4 and t4 is going to be since it's new alq for t4 with a time are we going to calculate the time 52 plus the new distribution that is going to be 40. So 52 plus 40 and that's going to give me 92. Now this all the three are going to remain the same. You can just copy it down from the previous thing. This is going to be new again and that is going to be 
end of vein for truck T5 again is going to be 52 plus the distribution that we take and that's going to be 12. This 12 over here and that's going to give me 60. So for calculating BL and BS again, so the pass time is uh, 52 minus uh, 36, so that's uh, 16. So in the 16 minutes that passed, the loaders were free and only the scale was busy. So again, BL is going to remain the same, so that's just going to be 45. And BS is going to be since 16 minutes passed, so it's going to be 16 plus 36, and that's going to give me 52. So with this, uh, we calculate BL and BS. Now for calculate for finding the eminent event, we choose this because this is the least compared to all three of all five of them. So now the next event or the next set is going to start at clock cycle 64. So let's write that down. So at 64 over here. So what's going to happen at 64? At 64. This particular truck is going to finish weighing and it's going to come out and T6 from the weighing queue is going to come and take the scale place. So if we draw the flowchart for that, so this is busy, I mean sorry, this is free, this is free, this is free. The thing is that's going to change is, so at 64, the scale is going to be taken by, the scale is going to be taken by T6 already written down the events that are going to take place and uh, to just show you so t2 t3 t4 and t5 are going to remain the same and with their time instances as this and uh, we already have uh, this new event over here end way of t6 and we calculate 80 as 64 plus 16 64 is the current time and 16 is the probability distribution that we get so that's 64 plus 16 and uh, again this is the new event t5 that is again arriving at the loader queue of t5 and how do we get 144 64 that's the current time plus using the probability distribution plus 80 we get 144 now calculating bl and bs so now we know that the past time is 12 okay so in the past time 12 the loaders were free and the scale was busy so bl is going to remain same that is 45 the bs is going to get added by 12 so that is 12 plus 52 64 now we need to choose the eminent event so the eminent event among this is going to be 72 so in the next clock cycle 72 is going to be our clock cycle start and so when this event happens what is going to happen this is going to come to the loader queue and if you see, this is going to come to the loader queue, but there's nothing in the loader, so there's no point in waiting. So it's directly going to go into the loader. And we'll, so this is going to remain constant, and so is this. So let's see at time instance 72 what is going to happen. So I've already written down all the steps because otherwise the video will get too long. So at 72 in time instance, this T1 is moved here. T2, T3, T4, T5, T6 remain the same with their way or time associated from the previous steps calculated. Now the new thing is going to be T1. So this is going to be end of loading for time T1. And how do we get 82? So we get 82 because 72 plus 10 from the probability distribution table. So that's 82. Now to calculate BL and BS, the past time is 8. And in the 8 minutes that we saw, the loader was again free and the scale was busy. So BL is going to remain same, that is 45, and BS is going to change by 8. So that's going to be 72. Now amongst this, we need to choose the next eminent event. So the next eminent event is going to be 76, right? So with choosing 76, let's see what we get. So with 76 over here, uh, so now again what is going to happen so since 76 six is taken again 76 is going to come here but since one of the loaders free it does not have to wait it directly enters the loader. This part of it remains as it is. So when it comes so it takes, takes this loader T3, T4, T5, T6 remain as it is. So now T2 has to be calculated new so that's going to be end of wait 
I mean, sorry, end loading of truck T2 at time instance 86. How do we get 86? That is 76, that is the clock instance at that time, plus 10 in using the probability distribution table. Now, we stop at this instance because the probability distribution table is exhausted. And even if we do any more of the further steps, it's not going to get us any result. Now, the next thing that we have to obviously calculate is the BL and BS because uh, we need to calculate the scale utilization total busy time. So, I'm just going to do that. So, the pass time again is going to be 76 minus 72, 4. Now, in this four instances, only one loader was busy and the scale was completely busy. So, now, this is going to be plus 4 and this is going to be plus 4. So this will be 4 plus 45, the previous value 49. And this is going to be 4 plus 72, 76. So at the end of it, the cumulative time that the loader was busy was 49. And the cumulative time the scale was busy is 76. So with this we end that big table. Now, the first two things are answered. That is, if we go back to the question, uh, that is uh, total busy time of both the loaders and the scale. So that is how we get at the end, where uh, at the end where we finally accumulate and find out what the cumulative busy time is going to be. Now the next thing that they ask is average loader. So let me just arrive at the page. Right. So average loader utilization. So you, how do you calculate average loader utilization? It is used, it is calculated using this formula that is BL. That's what we calculated divided by the total number of loaders at the total time taken. So in our case, the BL at the end was 49. And how many loaders we had? 2 divided by the total time is basically at what instance we stopped. So we stopped at 76 over here. So that would be a total time. So let's write that down. So total time that is uh, 76. So when you calculate this, you get average load utilization as 0 0.32. Now the next thing that they ask is average scale utilization. That is again going to be a BL. Or is that going to be BL? So the next thing they are asking is average scale utilization and that is given by this formula. Okay, so this is not BL, this is BS, right? Because we are calculating with reference to scale. So what is our BS? BS is 76 and the total time is 76. So our scale utilization is 1.00. So hence we calculated all the, all the four things that they asked us to find. So, yes, guys, we're finally done with the dump truck problem. So, this big table that you guys see is what we just solved. And I'm pretty sure and I really hope that all of you understood it and uh, went through it and actually followed each step because it becomes very crucial to understand how it is solved in order to actually do the sum otherwise there's no point in mugging up or just you know doing it half so i hope you guys understood and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do share it with people so that people understand how to solve the dump truck problem and it's not a nightmare anymore so until next time bye bye and remember it's now or never <laughs>